15th, 2021. And you know, I just found something disturbing out about these Kennedys. Um, you know how they're, everybody loves the Kennedys. Yeah, it was rather um, not very nice to find it out. I was sitting down there in front of the fireplace looking on the internet. Hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. The Kennedys, I don't know if anybody's done history on them. I've never done history on them. I know that they praise them as royalty and all that. And they're looking for John F. Kennedy to come back and that movement. But you know what? They've got a very, very violent history. And that ain't really how you spell their name, K-E-N-N-E-D-Y. They come from Scotland, okay? As far back as like the 1300s and even further back, they had a murderous and violent history, the whole clan of the Kennedys. And I'm going to say it again, it's not their real name. And you know where I got this information? It, it started off watching this video about a Scottish castle. It says, restoration home of a Scottish castle before and after. The real truth history of the castles. So this is about that. They searched, this woman bought this castle to redo. And so she had these historians go to the local libraries uh, there. And they found this stuff out about who lived in those castles. And then they found that the castle was tied to the Kennedy family, the Kennedy clan, which were they were called the Kings of Carrick. And it said they had one long catalog, catalog of violence and sudden death. And you know what they did to somebody? They roasted them alive in the castle. They roasted this um, common, commendator alive in the castle. Now, that is a violent history, you all, but they went forth conquering and conquering and conquering uh, with this. That just makes me upset. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm kind of upset. Uh, the history has been out there, but I guess we never took the time to look. Hello. Let me say this. Hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Um, Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. Look at this. So I'm watching this woman. She's going there researching this castle. And um, they were talking about King James III from England. And there was a Kennedy in 1452. And his grandson made the first Earl. So they were made the Earls. Uh, so he got killed. And the second Earl was assassinated by Sir Hugh Campbell of London. And uh, the other Earl had unsuccessfully attempted to rescue the king. So thereafter, the history of these kings of Carrick, and that was the Kennedys, they were called the kings of Carrick, was one long catalog of violence and sudden death with the murder of the, and the commendator of the, they roasted him alive um, with it, all of it. They roasted him alive. And you know what? I, I pulled up this book about it. I, I downloaded some books about these um, kings of Carrick. Um, yeah, that's what I did. So they, they, they look at this. Um, during a reformation, um, the eldest son is now the Earl of Caselis and came into policy, the Kennedy family back in 1373. They go really far back far back, like the Queen of England and stuff like that, you all. They're, I think they're one in the whole, they're all in it together, is what I think. They're all in it together. But I'm, I'm going to go on the internet, because when I had to shut down my um, thing, it pulled it up. Look at this. Look. The clan, come back down here. The, the name Kennedy in Ashour, Ashire, our Ashire, seems to have evolved from the family of Fergus, Lord of Galloway, south of Scotland. The Lords of Galloway were known formally as the de Carrick, with a lesser name being Kennedy. So this is what their name really was, Mac Kennedy. That's what their name was. Uh, so they just decided they're going to name themselves Kennedy, but it, they were from the Carricks. 
and the Fergus could have been family links to Brian Butterow, the king of Ireland, the king that overthrew the Vikings and stuff. But they've, they've got these, they're going all back from this one family. Uh, Say so now look, the very earliest mention of the name being used in Ashar is that of Gilbert McKennedy, who witnessed a charter of dune fishings in Williams, the Lion Reign, in 1165. The title Earl of Carrick seems to have disappeared after Robert the Bruce became king of so Scotland, and it seems to have been replaced with the title of the Earl of Cassillis. Then the main seat of the Kennedys at that time. So way back then, the Kennedys were all in this way back then. So look at that, you all. John Kennedy was one of the first Kennedys on record in our, our Shire, being the owner of Dooner Castle, built in the late 1200s. Um, so, um, yeah, look at this. So, um, I was watching this video right here, if it's even going to bring it back. I don't want it to play. Um, I'm going to mute it. But this is, this is weird. And, and I I've got this book up. They have all this history um, of these. Um, I was watching this right here. I don't even know how I came on this, this restoration. Uh, it's called Real Truth History Documentaries. And the woman got this castle that the Kennedys used to own. And they would go forth conquering and conquering. Then over time, um, their family was granted the land by the kings back then. They just gave them big swaths of land, their, ca their families did. Um, but let's look at this. I'm, I'm supposed to be getting in here. Hello. This kind of made me upset. I'm just going to tell you because I read where he roasted this person alive in this book um, that I downloaded on the Internet. This is um, it's a digital copy of this book. Um, it's called The Kings. It's from the National Library of Scotland. Um, and they digitalized it. The Kings of Carrick. And that was the Kennedy family. Um, look at this. Um, so they, they chased it back. They said they have a rich history worth telling. <laughs> the Kings of Car Can Car Carrick. A historical romance of the Kennedys of our shire. So you all can see this too. They're not who we have been told they are. They're not. They've been around for a long, long time. Um, look, the history of the Carrick Division. Let me just, is this all right? Um, you all, good morning. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to pause for a moment. Because we're going to get to the part to where he roasts this man alive. Um, down through that history. It's a violent. Okay, it's great. It says, the history of Carrick, of the Carrick division of Ashar during the last 600 years is largely that of the Kennedy family. Just like the Queen's family. The present Marquis of Isa is the 17th in direct lineal male descent from a certain John D. Kennedy, who so far back is... 1357 through 8 was confirmed by David II in all the lands belonging to him. And this John D. Kennedy was descended from the more remote D. Carricks. Hardly admits of any doubt. It goes without saying that a family that can look back across five or six hundred or six centuries of continuity must necessarily have a story that is worth telling. Vastly important, centuries in the history of Scotland, they necessarily evolved men, the, they necessarily evolved men meet for the times in so much of our shire during all that long period shared largely the alternate, alternating fortunes of the centuries. It was a Kennedy who stormed the gray keep of Denure and drove thence a Norse baron who had long held it in his safe keeping. A Kennedy who was one of the hostages for David II in 1358. And I read about that. He was a hostage by David II in 1358. Along with his brothers and his uncle. So they put them in prison. They, David captured them. But then they thought, well, they can arrange a marriage. 
So they got with this one Kennedy. They said, we're going to let you out if you do this, but you have to leave your brothers and your uncles in the, in the whatever. And he did. He left them there and did whatever he wanted and didn't even help his brothers and his uncle. But then finally, you know, the other ones got, they got let loose, you all. They got let loose. I'm from, hello, from Cape Cod. So um, the ire of the sovereign and was kept in close custody in the castle of Surrey and his fellow conspirator, if indeed they were conspirator, they gained their freedom by betraying their brothers. He gained his freedom by betraying his brother and his uncle. Um, so look at this. So um, they got the Scotland. I didn't even know they came from Scotland. I did not know. Look at this. Uh, James the Third left his memory savory in the halls of learning, and he founded the College of St. Salvatore in 1450, and a Kennedy formed one of the retinue who attended Margaret of Scotland on her marriage to the Dauphin Lewis in 1436. A Kennedy, the parson of Douglas, in the beginning of the 16th century was accounted worthy to occupy a place in Godwin Douglas' place of honor, and he courted the muse to some purpose when he wrote The Flirting of Dunbar and Kennedy. And um, so we have the first earl. They were called earls. A. Kennedy, the first earl of his race, was slain on the field in Flodden. And the second earl was an ambassador in England. And the third, so they got ties to the Queen of England. They got ties to the Queen of England. Uh, these Kennedys do for me back then, you all. Hello. Uh, good morning. Um, yeah. So, so, um, so, yeah, so the Queen of England, so they go down through here, uh, Queen Mary, okay, now we're talking about Queen Mary, and an extraordinary Lord of Session, one of the nation's deputies, and the marriage of the Francis of Doom, so we're going to get to this part where, here we go, so, the fourth Earl, which happens to be a Kennedy, was with Queen Mary at Lang's side, though, sooth to say, he is better remembered as the king of Carrick who roasted the commendator of Crossingarl in the black vault of Denure. That is so evil. Okay, that is really evil. Is that not evil? This is their history that was written about the kings of Carrick. Um, yeah, that is not... Um, <laughs> look at that in the resistance of the designs of Charles in 1638 was the one of the three ruling elders sent to Westminster Assembly of the Divines in 1643. And the seventh Earl was the only member of Parliament in 1670 voted against the act for punishing convectals. So they say the records of the family might still be further continued, but these are sufficient to so show that the house of the Kennedy has produced many sons who have done the state some services. Did y'all know that about the Kennedys? I did not. I did not know any of that about them um, at all. Um, oh. Yeah. They say, um, naturally, their position in Ayrshire has never been questioned. And they have contributed largely to its history and to some extent made it what it is. This, is. this it would not be difficult to show were this proper place to discuss the nature and the influence of that they wielded. And I didn't read this book, that they wielded. It was perhaps unavoidable that the kings of Carrick's, which also happened to be the Kennedys, should have come into sharp contact with the families whose rights are, or whose prejudices they disturbed or who were jealous of their broad acres and awe but unlimited power. In their work which follows, the author has selected a period in what was perhaps the greatest of their feuds and the most brimful of interest. And what renders this particular feud the most notable is that it essentially was a family quarrel. The Casillas Kennedys oppose the other Kennedy. So they're quarreling within their families. And then it starts talking about how they were around with the, look at this. The Kings of Carrick is the best described as a revised edition of the Kennedys, which found such favor with the public on the West Country 
that a second edition was rendered necessary. Um, they were also around uh, during the, with uh, Joan of Arc um, is what they were, with Joan of Arc, you all. Yeah, that's kind of disturbing to me. Um, it really is. And I'm not going to read the book, but if you are interested in reading that book, I can put the uh, PDF link in the, um, the uh, description so you all can read it yourself. Because this is, um, okay, Trump's mom comes from England. Because, you know, you have this Q, they say Q is John F. Kennedy Jr. or whoever it was. And they got this history. Uh, just like the Queen of England, they got this history. And then they roasted the commandant alive. They roasted a man alive just to do it. That's barbaric. <laughs> that is really barbaric. Um, hello in the Netherlands. So, yeah, you can... Look at this. These are the chapters. Um, preparing for the encounter, the tragedy of Rock Look Burn. Uh, an ocean drain inspired to vengeance. Slain in the woods, foreshadowing vengeance upon ocean drain. Ocean drain and his son grow sympathetic. Ocean drain responds to the summons of the privy. Um, so, yeah, this has a lot of interest in it. It doesn't look like it's too long of a book. Looks like somebody got hung. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you all. Yeah, the tragedy and all of that. The sea gave up its dead in the toils. Um, so, yeah, I was watching. I don't, even, I don't even know how I ended up watching this castle, how I even got on this castle. But I thought, oh, that's pretty because I like restorations. And I fast forward and they had the historian uh, digging up the stuff about the Kennedy family, you all. Um, yeah. No, they are trying to get you to go against the good Kennedys are good. There might be some good Kennedys now, but they weren't good. They had a terrible history. And really, you don't get into power. You don't get into politics if you don't have a history with the people who get into politics. You don't. You have got to have your connections. You really do. You got to be a game player in order to get into the higher echelons of society. You have to play the game. You got to have the bloodline is what I think. You got to have a bloodline also. Um, yeah, we. I know. I know that people think of the Kennedys as really all of that. I've heard it. I've seen it. They've been praised as royalty, and they did come from royalty. Um, but so did the Queen of England, and we heard that she wasn't the true queen, that there was another king, and they usurped him centuries back. Um, yeah, I just want to say that they said this is the real truth history. Right here, they, they report the real truth history. Um, and there is a history that we don't know about, a history that has been turned around um, there is, and a history that's been hidden, but yet not hidden because we did not take the time to investigate ourselves because we did not find it north noteworthy to even do so because we want to live our lives and we just want to have, we just want to ha be happy and live our lives and forget about the history that takes place. That's even with these like uh, Atlantis and all of those, they have a history, but now it's just way back there and people don't care about what happened back then. Uh, that's that's all I'm saying. Yeah. And the truth is hard to swallow. It really is very hard to swallow. Um, yeah. Underground tunnels. Yeah, there's all kinds of underground tunnels and stuff. But yeah, the kings of Carrix never, never, ever knew about it. Ever. But I just don't like it that they had the history of um, a violent history attached to them. They saw something, they went after it, um, is, is what it seems like. It went totally after it. Um, yeah. So, Kennedy's is not their real name. The real name was Mac Kennedy. Right there um, is what they were. And uh, the Carricks were the De Carrick. So, they called the Kings of Carricks. And um, so, yeah, all of that right there. 
There was a princess Pharaoh um, that got exiled from Egypt and moved to the Scotlands. Wow, that's really interesting. That is interesting. Back in the days where the bootleggers, it's how they made their fortune now. Wow, Lisa. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I really didn't care to read much about them. I didn't because I just want to live my life. But now um, I watched that castle and they, their name popped up. And then it reminded me how they say Q is John F. Kennedy Jr. And they're going to bring him back. And they had a rumor he's going to be the vice president and stuff. I don't know about it, but there, there, there was a feud, obviously, occurring between the, the good and the bad. Is what it seems like. The feud, the feud, and they were around during the time of the Vikings. Can you imagine that? Um, yeah. There is a female bloodline that has the most kings and queens in it, and they still rule through Elizabeth. Wow. Um, they say something went after it. Yeah. If you dig into anyone's past, well, this one right here is a whole history of them, a whole history, and they're still alive today, and they're still very prominent uh, in society around the world. Um, that's how powerful their lineage is. It's a very powerful lineage. It is. I'm just showing what I um, read, and that's just my personal um, insight. It doesn't settle well with me that they would had a history of roasting somebody alive. Yeah. Um, so they started feuding. Um, just like fierce confrontation in the late 1500s between the Kennedy of Casillas and the monks of Crossigro Abbey at the Casillas Kennedy set about reclaiming the land. They, they took away the land gifted by the monks by Duncan de Carrick. In early 1200 so they took away the land from the monks why would they take away the monks land yeah look William the lion's reign in 1165 to 1214 the various earliest mention was Gilbert McKennedy why did they change their names to Kennedy is a real good question yeah Self-rule, yeah, I guess so. Um, SAS, I saw that. I saw that, and I'm thinking, really, there's got to be more to it than that. There's got to be more to it than that. And then somebody said um, that what if um, this is part of the New World Order? This has to take place. You have this domino effect for the New World Order so they can usher in whatever, and AI is going to rule it, you know, um, all of that kind of stuff like that. Yeah. Be careful, Tony. What is Tony doing? I don't, oh, uh, yeah, don't speak against the Krishna. You might get yourself in trouble. Um, hello, Apple Brooks. Your name is Miss Castlin and an old world name. Yes, it is, Copperhead. Um, that is a very old world name. And some of us, if you have Native American in your family, you don't know what your old Native American name is because they took it away. They took it completely away. I don't know what my grand great grandfather's a real Indian name was. All I know that he was given the last name of Ayers, A Y E R S, like a lot of other Native American Indians. I don't know his his real um, lineage, and I don't think that's nice. You can't go. When with your with the Native American Indians, you can only go so far back uh, to the tribe, and that's the end of it. Yeah, I don't think that's right either. So a lot of us has lost. A lot of us have lost history. I've got lost history. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because it wasn't written down. That's right. Um, before the um, Europeans came over and claimed this land, uh, the New Americas. They came over and claimed the land and uh, drove the Indians from it. As they had to get assimilated is what happened. And then slaughter all the buffalo and leave them in big pals uh, because that was their food source. 
that that's barbaric too you all. i'm just saying that is so barbaric uh, to do that to destroy a land just for that but then that was like they say some crusaders came over and then the knights templar came over too um, to get away from whatever they got away with this this is just a continual circle going around and around and around and around it never ends I know I didn't like seeing that about the buffaloes I didn't um, yeah you have Cherokee and Scott uh, from Indiana as well both of your great-grandmother were orphaned yeah that's that is sad it really is sad um, and you know what and when you come from a Native American family like my grandmother or my grandfather uh, they would take advantage of you because they would look at you as unlearned that's they do they take advantage of people they think oh well they don't very, know very much uh, they're very gullible we'll just take advantage of them um, that's not nice either it isn't you keep seeing a Wilson I don't know what Wilson is has anybody heard of the ultra rights treaty um, no I hadn't heard of that um, yeah, that's, that's horrible. Um, you know, I have this neighbor who's speaking about animals. She had a bunch of chickens and guineas and roosters. She had around 28 or even more uh, that she kept at her house here in the country. Um, and she would let her animals come into her sunroom when it was cold. Well, she had to go away out of town over the night. And um, when she came back, this... Amish's, the Amish had a dog and they killed 28 of her chickens and guineas and roosters. They killed 28 of them, slaughtered them. They just blood all over the place. So she came back and the Amish said that was their dog. And they said, we'll make it right. We'll just shoot the dog. She said, no, it's not the dog's fault. Because they said, well, we were gone. The Amish themselves were gone. Their Amish were gone overnight too. And when they came back, well, they forgot to feed their dog, and their dog was hungry. So their dog killed all of her, 28 of her animals uh, all over the place, and they said they were just going to just shoot the dog because it did it. She said, no, don't shoot the dog because it's not the dog's fault. And it wasn't the dog's fault. The dog was hungry. It's an animal. It wanted to eat. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's kind of awful. It really is awful. They probably did go home and shoot it. That's not nice either. It really isn't nice. Um... The blue blood runs through the royals. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, that's terrible, you know. It was hungry. They left it without water. They left it without food. And so it went to the neighbor's farm, to her house, where in her back where she had her chickens and stuff where they were. We let chickens roam freely out here in certain areas. They, you can see them walking along the the road, walk back and forth, they're all in somebody's yards, but that's what they did. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, they had a bad bunch. Okay, and you know, if you talk about the royals, they are a bad bunch. And then you saw, you know, okay, let's talk about the, the grays, okay? They say that there are some good grays that have branched off because they don't like what the bad grays did, or the reptilians, or the whoever they was, like, you have good extraterrestrials and you have bad extraterrestrials. We have good people and we have bad people. Uh, we have good families. We do. Let's think about this. We have good families. And we all probably have some members of our families who have done not so kind, not so nice things down through the bloodline. I can backtrack. Not, down, not so nice things through the bloodline. But then as the years passed, uh, cycles were broken. And people changed, okay? So, yeah, there could be some good Kennedys. There really could be. But they didn't have a nice beginning, it sounded like. Um, yeah. Um, why are there real royalty? Those royalties are not human and part of a soul matrix. They could very well be. Though they say um, we are part of a soul. A soul, a soul contracts. They, there's a theory that... Um, if you're here at this present moment in time, you have agreed to be here. You signed a soul contract with somebody. That's another theory, too. Um, oh, yeah, they practice a lot of... That's not nice either, yeah. So, let's just say this. 
the good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, but the bad man brings bad things out of the bad stored up in him. So you will know them by their fruit. Yeah, the fruit that comes out of them. Um, we need to ask ourselves, that's right, what makes royal people royal? And what is so different between them and everyone else? That's right. I think that's a very good question to ask. Um, yeah. John jumped the ship and he joined our side. I could see that happen. Um, there are people who say enough. Okay, there are. And I guess um, it's like a gang. If you join a gang uh, and, that, and you can't get out of the gang unless you die, that's how they say with certain gangs, you can't get out unless you die, or you're going to pay a pretty price. Yeah, so it'll be like a blood treaty or something. Yeah, that's kind of gross too, you all. Um, it's all right. It's all right. Um, the truth will set us free. Um, who knows what's in the past? We need to hold on to Jesus Christ and look to the future. Yeah, we, we do. We need to look to the future. Uh, and hold on to that truth that is within you. You you do search for it because it will sustain you. Um, yeah. Well, um, there was a lot of fighting back then. There was, and it was kind of barbaric. My husband said he was watching some of these things about the Vikings and stuff, and they were a barbaric brood. Um, but then who knows? What if we would have moved back then and that's all we knew? That was the only life we knew. Um, was a commoner. Oh, yeah. She has some blue blood from her royalty, too. Uh, you are from the Payne family. Yeah. Yeah, Diana. I don't know what she did wrong, but she was gone. Yeah. Your grandmother goes back to the Seneca tribe, which was um, a few tribes. Lisa. Yeah. Um, Greetings, ancestral, yeah. You saw your roommate in century change in the, wow, and the Neanderthal went from 2.5% to zero and the Nigerian 45%. That, wow, Anna, that's interesting. Yeah. We are a walking library. Um. All bloodlines and royal families are watered down now, and you feel the royalty isn't in blood. It's given, born vessel. Yeah. Oh, well, you're so very welcome. Um, it's 938. I wasn't planning on getting on here, but then it made me upset when I read about that because I didn't know about that because I didn't seek to find anything out about it, about those, um, the Kennedys. And then I, I don't even know how I saw this castle, and that's how I got to this subject, okay? I uh, I don't even know if it popped. I don't know how I got here, you all. I don't. I turn on my computer, and you know when you turn your search, your computer on, it has like a Google search thing. Um, like, well, watch this. So, yeah, it has like a Google search, and then it has recommended things, and I saw it because I, I like history. I do. Uh, and that's what happened when you do a search. Yeah, this is, I guess I saw it because this is what I did. I logged on, and then it was like one of these things, and I clicked into it. So that's how I got on the Kennedys, and that's it. <laughs> or Otherwise, I would not have gotten on it. I, I would be um, showing um, some spaceships. I would on the um, iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov, but this is interesting, too. So I'm going to be going. Um, I hope... Um, I hope that um, I didn't sound too upset, and I, I don't want to give no negative energy out at all. I don't. I want to give positive energy. I want to give out this love on the inside <laughs> because it's in short supply, um, and I want to keep the peace, and I want you to keep the peace on the inside of here so your vibration does not go into a downward spiral, and you don't go in a downward spiral with it because we've got to remain positive. We really do. Um, yeah. Oh, you're so very welcome, Apple Brooks. Thank you. Thank, um, thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you so very much. And um, yes, um, that's exactly right. High vibes only. Well, I am going to go. I hope you all have a wonderful um, rest of your day.